Who is that? Who dares wear a cloak before his majesty? That's Concubine Wu. The last division showed an ominous omen for his majesty. Fortunately, Concubine Wu decided to embrace Buddhism and donated her blood. Thanks to her sincerity, that I was able to make the elixir to help heal his majesty. Please grant my request to become a nun at Ganya Temple for the sake of your majesty and the dynasty. I'm willing to keep my promise. I shall convert to Buddhism and bid farewell to normal life. I only hope Tang can survive for generations and that your majesty can live on for many years. The road to Buddha's salvation is endless. Once she becomes a nun, she'll leave all her worldly concerns behind. She wouldn't even be able to lead an ordinary life, let alone try to become emperor. Mein Yang. You're still so young now. If you are sure you want to spend the rest of your life as a nun, don't you think you'll regret it? I shaved my head of my own violation to show my determination to your majesty. I have been blessed to serve you and the Tang Dynasty. I have no regrets. Very well. From the beginning of today, you may begin your cultivation inside Xianxia Hall. Retire there and pray for me and pray for Tang. As for Ganya Temple, did Mr. Xuanling not say that I still have scores of years to live? You may go there after, after I've passed. Thank you for your kindness. How cunning. So you came up with a way to save your own life. <laughs> but even if you survive this, you won't make it out alive. Executing you is the first thing I'll do once I ascend to the throne. Let's go. How did this happen? Yuan Hua's future will be ruined if she becomes a nun. How can I help her? What am I to do? What are you doing? Open the door! 
door! Open up! Let me out! Open up! Open the door! Let me out! <sighs> Abi! I saw you! Open up the door! Dozu, if you won the competition again today, don't you care that you'll implicate Chin Young? As well as every other person working in the wardrobe service. We'll all be implicated in this. Don't you know what kind of person Master Joy is? Think about it. Now that you've humiliated her, she'll never let you go. Don't worry. I'll let you out once today's round is over. I'm doing this for your own good. You... <sighs> Abby! The competition's about to begin! Open up right now! Open the door! Don't leave! Let me out! Let me out! Brother, did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Maybe I've been too concerned about Liu Li. So now I've become suspicious of everything. Never mind. Let's go. Why is he here? What's going on? No. Why did he not show up? Yeah. Anything? Oh, that's hmm. never happened. Chief Stewardess Lin, why is Doza still not here? Your graces, Doza was just an epidemic prevention physician. His status was low, and he never learned any proper manners. Actually, Chief Stewardess Lin thought highly of him and gave him a chance to compete with me. But it seems he's becoming more arrogant as each day passes. Now, he even dares to keep your graces waiting on him. How presumptuous of him. In my opinion, we should disqualify him in order to set an example. Chief Stewardess Lin, what do you think? I agree the proposal to disqualify Dozu is correct. But I'm afraid it would be unfair to Master Jewel. Oh? What do you mean? Master Zhuo is supposed to win relying solely on skill. Others would say that without competition, it's not an honorable victory. Hmm, that sounds reasonable. What do you think, Master Zhuo? Your Grace, I will respect your decision. Then send someone to go and get him now. I'll go get her now. Wait, Abby's faster. Abby, go and get him. Yes. Help! Someone help me! Someone help me! Open the door! Open the door! I'm begging you! I'm begging you! coming back alone. Where's Dozu? Chief Stewardess Lin, I looked for him, but couldn't find him. That Dozu is so audacious. No manners at all. I suppose he was afraid that he would lose. So, he hid himself away, somewhere. As Dozu has withdrawn, I declare the winner of this round to be Master Jewel. I am thankful to your graces. The victor will be whoever wins two out of three rounds. Chief Stewardess Lin, do we have the winner? Your graces, 
The winner of the first round actually was Dozu. Dozu? Did she just say the Dozu one? At present, the two competitors are tied with one win each. We will only know what the final result is after the third round of the competition. You're telling me that the exquisite red shawl was submitted by Dozu? That's correct. But everyone had thought the red shawl was Master Jode's work. It seems that we were mistaken. I did not expect this. Dozu is still very young, yet he's already so accomplished. Now I really can't wait to see how the third round will go. Hmm. Your graces, please, choose a topic for the third round. The third round will be... An Emperor's Robe. Robes. So difficult. An emperor's oh, skill. That's right. It's such a difficult task. I wonder who will win. My gosh. The emperor's robe. Doza is actually highly skilled. I'm not convinced he didn't attend today because he was afraid to lose. Chief Stewardess Lin, ask him about this. He'll be punished if this ever happens again. Yes. After you, find where Doza is. Bring us the dresses he and Master Jewel made, so we can take a close look. You know what? I'm quite curious. Yes. Take care, your graces. Though it's a lax experience, he's never done this before. It's not fair to him. Don't tell me you're on Doza's side. Huh. If Doza were promoted, all of us would be able to move up the ladder, too. I've come to say goodbye to your highness. Starting tomorrow, I shall move to Central Hall as per his majesty's order and leave all worldly concerns. Chief Gao has stated, his Majesty's condition improved greatly. Why are you so eager to become a nun? Mr. Shenley's elixir can only help restore His Majesty's stamina for the time being. Although it seems it's taking effect now, it can't eliminate the root cause. With all due respect, even the gods can't cure His Majesty's illness at this point. Once his illness relapses, my life will be in danger again. Your Highness, I've now embraced Buddhism. I still worry about you, though. I fear that your situation will become more dire. His Majesty's days are numbered, and Prince Tal will do everything that he can to stop you from ascending to the throne. You must be very careful. Keep yourself safe. And don't let Prince Tal succeed. You're still worried about me. Even after all you're going through. You're in the prime of your life, yet you're converting to Buddhism? Please don't blame yourself. I've been fortunate to keep my life by following Pei Jin's advice. However, I failed to bear a child for His Majesty, so this is my only option. After His Majesty passes, I must become a nun at Ganya Temple. When I ascend to the throne as Emperor of the Tang, I will bring you back here to the palace. You promise? I promise.
to hearing these words. I feel I haven't lived my life in vain after all. I feel much better now. None? You came just in time. I was just about to go to you. Concubine Wu, have you really become a Buddhist nun? From now on, you can call me Yuan Hua again. <laughs> Yuan Hua, please don't do this. I'll be even lonelier in this palace if you're locked away inside this hall. This isn't fair. And Liu Li, have you ever thought of coming here too? Coming here? Right. You'd be able to stay out of the intrigues happening in the palace. And no one would be able to harm you again. I came here on the order of His Majesty. If I wanted to bring you with me, then I could. From now on, the Central Hall will be a safe haven for the two of us. When I get a chance, I'll send you out of the palace so that you can live happily without worrying about others trying to hurt you. You'll be safe from harm. You're still thinking about me? Even after going through all of this? I'm very grateful. <laughs> it's just that I'm so close to getting the Golden Needle. I can't give up now. I must defeat Zhuo Jingyang, win the title of the best weaver, and clear Mother's name once and for all. Liu Li, this is your only chance to leave the palace. Consider it carefully. In all honesty, it was not my intention to live my life in retirement as a Buddhist nun. But this was the only way for me to stay alive. Liu Li, even if you did defeat Zhuo Jingyang, then what? Do you think it would be so easy to clear your mother's name? Yuan Hua, if I run away now, I'll have regret for the rest of my life. My mother made the mistake of giving up everything she worked for and leaving the palace, seeking to live an ordinary life in peace and anonymity. But what happened? Things didn't go how she wanted. Even after she escaped the palace, she still ended up being wrongfully accused. I learned one thing from that. The best way to protect oneself is to simply take your enemies out of the picture. I'll not only avenge my mother, I'll protect others too. If that's your choice, then I'll pray for your success every single day. 
Take good care of yourself. We will meet again. This is a pouch that I made myself. I put a few herbs in it in order to ward off negative energy. Yuanhua, please, accept it. <sighs> the characters for peace and fortune. You really are very skilled. <sighs> All I want to achieve by this is peace. Peace is a blessing. Life is a blessing. Treasure it. I'll always be grateful to you for saving my life. Please take care of yourself. I hope we can see each other in the future. I'm going to repay you someday. This dress made by Master Zhuo has a complex design. It is truly masterful. It must have taken a lot of work. But I don't know why. I much prefer this simple dress that Dozo made. I didn't expect that a simple red shawl could be so exquisite and evoke such splendid elegance. The wearer will certainly draw many eyes and yet appear quite humble. Compared with the complexity of Master Zhuo's work, it's quite clear that Doze's work does stand out. Doze's work is very impressive. How could this have happened? Doze worked day and night to make this dress, but his design is so simple. Could it be that she was putting on an act to lead me astray? Doze, why are you absent from the competition? And why couldn't we find you? Please provide your graces with an explanation for this. The theme that your grace set seemed quite simple, but it was actually a test of the garment maker's ingenuity. I racked my brains to come up with this idea to combine a red shawl with a plain ordinary dress. Only in this way could the wearer's reservedness be shown while the juxtaposition of light and dark colors would make it suitable for ladies of nobility to wear on a daily basis. Hmm. Who asked you to say that? <sighs> it's the honor of the wardrobe service to have your graces 
act as the judges for this competition. But Doza has disrespected your graces by not appearing. This is just unacceptable. This... Would her graces believe me or Doza? If Doza brings up the truth that he has been locked in his room, in any case, I can't just cower and let him gain the upper hand. I've already lost this round anyway. Zhuo Jinliang will be able to get away even if I told them Abi had locked me in my room. And I don't have any proof, so it's my word against theirs. And they might even think I'm trying to put the blame on Zhuo Jinliang. Your Honorable Graces, this round was very difficult. I changed my mind many times and only came up with this idea around midnight. I stayed up really late working on it, and then today I overslept. On my way over to the wardrobe service, I fainted in an isolated place. No one came across me, so that's why I was absent. What utter nonsense! He already finished the dress! Master Jaw, I believe what Doldza said is the truth. Otherwise, why would he have forfeited just now and let you win the second round? Think about that. It seems reasonable, does it not? Now, each of you has won one round. You're tied. You should begin preparations for the third round without wasting any time. Yes. yes. I can't believe that exquisite red shawl was dyed by Dozer. Everyone all said that Master Zhuo was the one that made the red shawl. It seems that we made a mistake. I really had no idea. Dozer is still so young, but he's so accomplished. Now I'm very excited to see how the third round will play out. Compared with the complexity of Master Zhuo's work, it's quite clear that Doza's work does stand out. Master Jewel. <laughs> Come here. Come here, hurry. Oh my. Come help. Take these stitches out for me. Master, this dragon claw looks great. Why don't you like it? Great, great. You say that everything's great whenever I ask for your opinion. So I became careless and let those that take the upper hand. <gasps> this time, I must be extremely careful and embroider the perfect emperor's robe. <sighs> Why are you still standing there? Help me unstitch it. Yes. Hey, do you know where Dozo will be making the Emperor's robe? I heard that Chief Stortus Lin booked him an embroidery room. What? Uh, who does she think he is? Now he has a room of his own? No wonder! He thinks he can treat me as an equal! You shouldn't get too close to me with others around. You may get implicated. Is it him? Is it him? Well, do you think you win? Well, if you ask me, it wouldn't Can be so it? bad if he did. Hey, who do you think is going to win? If you ask me, it won't be so bad if Dolza wins.
What's this technique? This Azor dragon looks so lifelike and mighty. This technique? Why haven't I seen it before? If this goes on, I'll, I'll lose for sure. No, I can't lose. I can't afford to. I must, must be the best weaver. I've seen Master Chua for a few days now. She didn't tell me anything. Could it be that you were afraid Master Chua would favor me? So you spoke ill of me to her to gain her favor back? Are you saying you haven't seen her recently either? Actually, I haven't seen Master Chua, and I haven't seen Doza anywhere either. Do you know where he could be at? Hey. Chinyang, you're very busy now. Why don't you let me deliver the food for you? It's just... I don't know where Master Zhuo is. I'll take her the food. Thank you, Ben. Hey, Chinyang. You haven't told me where Master Zhuo is yet. I don't know either. Why don't you take a look around? I've been looking for two days. Master thinks so highly of you, so you should do your best to serve her. Ah. <sighs> Chinang must know where Master Zhuo is at. She was afraid I might replace her. So she won't help me. No one will come to your rescue. Aside from me, no one knows about this cell. You've been here for two days. In that time, have you heard any other sounds from outside? <laughs> I advise you to give me what I want. If you don't want to die here, then take my advice and finish the Emperor's robe. Ah, <sighs> Master Jewel. You want to watch me make the Emperor's robe so you can learn my technique? So what if I do? What does it matter? You don't have long to live anyway. <sighs> you are clearly not as skilled as me, so why don't you just admit that I've defeated you? As Master of the Wardrobe Service, you didn't admit defeat. And now you want to learn techniques from your subordinate? Even I feel ashamed for you. <laughs> so what if I'm not as skilled? In this palace, one will never win relying on skill alone. 
I told you about my master, Miss Unright. Her embroidery skills were unrivaled throughout the kingdom. But what happened in the end? <laughs> I took charge of the wardrobe service. And then the title of the best weaver was also taken by me. <laughs> and Miss Un will forever be known as a rebel who everyone believes got exactly what she deserved. The way things are, you tell me, has my master won, or have I won? Huh? Zhou <laughs> Qingyang, even now, it's still hard to say who will emerge victorious. Don't celebrate too soon. Don't! Let me ask you one more time. Will you choose to do the work or not? Now that the odds are against me, I'll do it. You will? Hmm. But first, you must agree to meet some of my demands. In order for me to do my best work, I must have a full stomach so I can concentrate. Bring me some decent food, and then I'll be in the mood to work. I want some lamb chops, braised chicken, osmanthus cakes, and whatever else looks good. Just bring me a bit of everything. Bring it all. Very well. That can be done. Oh, right. And no one can disturb me while I'm working on it. Only you can watch and you must keep quiet. The technique is quite simple. Anyone with half a brain can learn after seeing it once.
The way those who hold themselves are so similar to Miss Anne. Could he be? Could he be? Impossible. Impossible. It must be because I care so much about that title. I've become absent-minded, and I'm seeing things. Your Grace, His Majesty's pulse is erratic and irregular. He lacks internal energy and is too far gone. Forgive me, there's nothing I can do. You piece of trash, get out of here! Where is the elixir that Wu gave to his majesty? Oh.